Hello, um, I've decided to do a little compilation video about my Scarlet King snake and the things I've learned um, since it's almost a year since I first got her. Um, I really wanted like a red or an orange snake just because I think they're pretty. Um, so I did some research which I initially thought was in depth, but now that I own multiple snakes, I realized that I was very naive. Um, but I did this research and I found the Scarlet King snake, um, and me being a Virgo, uh, I was not, uh, dissuaded from the Scarlet King being a relatively difficult species to keep as a pet. I was like, oh, challenge accepted. Um, but it's been a challenge and if you, like aren't super committed to caring for an animal that's difficult, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I got her in at the beginning of June in 2019. She was about eight months old at the time. So she's almost, she's about a year and a half now. Um, but I got her, got her like a really nice, uh, I believe the brand was Zoomed. It was one of the ones with like the the open doors on the front, which is what was suggested to me, uh, later on found out that wasn't the best choice, but I was just, you know, trying to get her the nicest thing possible, um, got home, got it all set up, um, and then I went to bed, because it was pretty late after getting it all set up, I woke up the next morning, and she was gone, uh, I went to bed around midnight, woke up at 6 a.m. because I felt this, like, weird anxiety. Got up to check on her, and she was gone. Um, you know, according to the, the research that I had done, it said that they were master escape artists. But I really didn't think it was going to be, like, that easy for her to get out of this tank because it was a pretty expensive tank. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but... I was so shocked. Um, and she was- she's so small, like... The likelihood of me finding her in this old pier and beam house that I lived in at the time was very slim. So I looked everywhere, didn't find her. I tried to like use a flashlight and even look at like dust trails on the floor uh, because my ex-boyfriend at the time had some pit bulls and they shed everywhere. Like within hours of me sweeping, there would be like their hair everywhere again, um, which ended up being beneficial because I, I actually could see like a little trail in part of the ground, but I mean on the floor. But um, I didn't find her. Shortly after that, um, I, we had a fight and we broke up and I ended up moving and so I was like I'm never gonna see the snake again um so I, I moved back in with my parents um took all my stuff with me like even my plants whatever um about two and a half three weeks into me living with my parents like waiting on my apartment my mom woke me up and she was like why'd you uh put your snake skin in my plant like that's weird is it like a new type of like fertilizer or something and I was like what what are you talking about um because I had gotten another snake at that point um and he hadn't shed yet and I was so confused so I went into the kitchen with her and then my dad was like hmm let's just like look in the plant like maybe Maybe she somehow got in the plant, but this was one of my mom's plants that wasn't at the house I was living in when I lost her. So mildly confused by that. So I pick up, or my dad picks up the plant and she's just chilling in the root ball of my mom's plant. I'm just like, okay, this is a, this is a miracle. I have no idea how this happened. But then I went to think about it and next to her tank at the old house I used to live at, my avocado tree was on a little stool that was about equal height to the table that her tank was on. So she probably just escaped and then she was like, oh, I, fuck, what did I do? Um, and just slithered into my avocado tree. Well, thank goodness I took my avocado tree with me. Um, the tree and my mom's plant were sitting next to each other on the counter in front of the window. So she probably just hopped into that plant because it had more leaves. There was more coverage for her to hide into. Um... 
But yeah, and the video I'm gonna include after this one is the only video I have of me holding her. She hates being held. Um, yeah. She's a pretty good feeder now. She usually eats once a week. She'll eat a live, like slightly larger pinky, slightly smaller fuzzy, something that still has its eyes closed. It has to be live, can't be frozen, can't be dead. Um, sometimes she'll, like if she's getting closer to shedding, she'll refuse food. Um, if the pinky is too big or she just doesn't like it, she'll refuse it, which has happened like four or five times. Um, and so I just end up freezing it, which is so terrible, and I hate it when she does this. But thankfully, I have multiple snakes, and the other snake can eat the mouse at that point. Because they both eat frozen thawed. Um, don't hate me for having to do that. Um, this is her tank. Um, as you can see, I have like a little twist tie as the lock. I have that because I can cinch it tighter than the lock so that she can't sneak out. Most tanks have like these little gaps. This is the size gap that she got a, out of like her first tank because there wasn't tape on it. I didn't know that that was the requirement. Um, but she, since there wasn't tape, she was able to push it out just far enough to where she could sneak through something like that. But I have the tape. It's the packing tape brand from the post office, so it doesn't, like this brand for some reason doesn't leave residue on the tank, which is super nice. But I have it going from here all the way back here so that there's no wiggle room on the lid. It does slide into a groove, which is nice, but one time I forgot to put the tape back on after I fed her. I was like, oh, she's been doing good. It's been about, you know, eight months since her last escape. I don't need to put the tape on there anymore. Uh, within hours, like I woke up in the middle of the night and she was like sticking out, like like half of her body was right here. Um, like this is a little like thing, it like clips on there. So she had, because I didn't put the tape, she was strong enough to like push this out of the way. Like, on the inside, there's like a little bit of a lip at the top and she'll sometimes just chill there. If you have a king snake, you've probably seen them do this. Um, but she was able to like wedge her way out. Like I can't even fit my fingernail in the gap right now because I have the tape on there so tight. But yeah, if you decide to get one of these, tape your tank. It will save you um, from a lot of panic. Um, her tank is sitting on top of this Ikea bookshelf. I picked this one because it has a glass top. One thing about Scarlet Kings is they're nocturnal, so you don't really see a whole lot of them anyway unless you're a night person. And even then, they, they really don't come out very much and they don't like being observed. At least she doesn't. But one way I can kind of like observe her without being distracting is by looking underneath this glass. There's a glare on the video, so you can't really see anything, but... That's why I got this nice bookshelf to keep her tank on. So that's cool. You probably also noticed that she doesn't have a heat lamp. Um, after doing some research, it said that they like to be around 75 degrees, which is the temperature I keep my apartment at. Um, I did put a very small ceramic heat emitter at the top for a few days, but like she literally, like the lamp was about, right here-ish. She stayed in this corner the whole time under the ego or like as far away from it as she could possibly get and didn't come out. So uh, I think that was her way of telling me that she didn't like it. Usually she stays in the middle, right underneath her water bowl pretty much. It's her favorite spot. 
One fun thing she also does is she poops in her water, so I get to rinse that out, but at least like it doesn't get on the Eco Earth anywhere. It's also a mess in here right now because she just ate. Anytime she eats, she just throws the moss around and makes a huge mess. Um, also, one thing other Scarlet King Sneak owners said online, thankfully I don't have to do this, but they said that they either have to find like a little baby anole, uh, which, I mean, anoles move really quickly. They're hard to catch. Um... There are a few stores that sell them, but it's hard to find uh, ones that are small enough for the species to eat. They only get about a foot and a half long. Um, their head's about the size of my pinky. Her, the thickest part of her body is about the size of my thumb. Um, so like their food has to be a, a specific size or they just reject it because they're picky. Um, they'd rather starve than um, be given food that's not up to their standards. Um, like if I give her a pinky that's too big, she'll refuse it. Um, and luckily the shop that I get her food from lets me go in the back and look at the pinkies first so I can pick out the perfect one. Also, I don't know if you can see this. You can kind of see it. I have in chalk marker, this was my friend, uh, Sydney's idea. I cannot take credit for this, but she... Uh, writes the shed dates of all of her snakes on the side of their tank, um, which is super helpful, especially for her, because she usually rejects food about a week or two before she's going to shed. Like, she just will not eat. Um, like I said earlier, she usually eats once a week, one pinky once a week, um, unless she's about to shed. She just won't eat. Um, so that has been super helpful because I hate... Um, having to freeze them if she rejects them. Um, in this next video clip, it will show her eating. Um, if you're squeamish, skip to the part where you see my face again. Um, I don't want to gross you out. Um, it's just rare, very rare that I get to see her eat. I've only seen her eat one other time in addition to this. Um, and the fact that I was able to sneak over to her tank and get it on video is crazy to me. Normally she freaks out. I, I, part of it's super zoomed in and kind of grainy, but I'm just shocked that I was able to get it on video. So that's next. If you don't want to watch it, skip to the part where you see my face again. Um, if you want to see like more still photos of her, I have some on my Instagram. It's at Laura's and the Cats, just like my YouTube name. Um, they're in the baby's highlight, like BB. Um, there's two sections of that highlight and it's all of my animals together, but there's stills of her there. Um, so yeah. Okay, one last thing before the video of her eating. There's one video where she's kind of like swooping that happened around 3.30 in the morning last night. In between that video and the one after it, um, there's like a 12 hour time gap in between when they were filmed. It's like she's stalking her food. Um, I'm not sure if that's a thing that all Scarlet King snakes do. I just thought it was interesting to mention.
She's such a beautiful snake. She just came over now. I'm watching her. She'll sneak away. Um, it's super rare that I get to watch her eat, so that was that was really cool. Um, I have only held her maybe once or twice uh, outside of that video. Um, and she's musked on me both times and bit me. Of, I mean, it doesn't hurt. She's so small. Um, it feels like getting kind of smacked with like a paper clipper or a rubber band or something. But, I mean, I don't want to freak her out or torture her. So I, I don't try to hold her unless I absolutely have to. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt because she like writhes around and like tries to literally like shoot herself out of my hand. Um, whenever I have to upgrade her tank moving hers gonna be a little bit of a challenge I'm not super looking forward to that um and then the other thing that I forgot to mention in the other video was that other Scarlet King sneak owners on the internet said that if they couldn't find an anole they would have to take a live pinky and rub anole droppings on it so that their king snake would eat it um i'm so thankful she just eats regular pinkies um she was captive bred a lot of times it's really hard to even find them they're so difficult to keep but i hope that this video has been informative i hope you enjoyed it um i plan to do videos of my other snakes too and I also realized I didn't even introduce her by her name. Her name is Ginger. Um, the snake I got after her, his name is Peppercorn. He's about five and a half, six. He'll be like six this summer. Um, he's super chill. Um, he's gotten really strong. I just upgraded his tank um, in February. So I'll do a video of that. And then I got another sneak in February as well. Um, I had an extra tank and you know how you go to a convention and you just can't leave without something. Um, he's an Exanthic uh, Sonoran gopher snake. His name is Halcyon Calm Hal. Um, he's super chill. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Stay safe out there.